the biological explanations of anorexia. The first explanation is serotonin. A restricting type anorexia group was compared to a binge purge group and a healthy control group. It was found that there was higher serotonin in the brains of those in the binge purge group. Additionally, it was found that those who were most anxious had the most serotonin, therefore suggesting that anxiety could be a trigger for anorexia. The next explanation is dopamine. PET scans were used to look at the brains of those with anorexia to evaluate the dopamine activity in the brain. It was found in comparison to a healthy control group that anorexics had overactivity in the dopamine receptors, especially in the harm and pleasure areas. This suggests that anorexics cannot interpret pleasure in the same way as people without anorexia and therefore they cannot interpret food as a pleasurable experience. The next explanation is neurodevelopment. There is a link between premature births and anorexia. It is suggested that premature births may cause lack of oxygen to the brain, impairing the neurodevelopment of the baby. Mothers with anorexia have been said to expose the child to a double disadvantage, e.g. passing it on to the child as well as malnutrition during pregnancy. Next is season of birth. It was suggested that people who are born during the spring months have a greater vulnerability to anorexia. This is because of infections which can be transmitted to the baby as well as the temperature at the con time of conception which can alter the neurodevelopment. Next is the reproductive suppression hypothesis. This suggests that girls wanting to control their weight have an adaptive advantage. This is because they can delay the reproduction which avoids the birth of a baby when conditions are bad and would not be able to support their child. Next is the adaption to flee hypothesis. This suggests that anorexic symptoms such as starvation, food restriction and hyperactivity were once an adaptive advantage. This is because the adaption to find food would be turned off in famine conditions. This would allow the individuals to migrate to better conditions without the distractions of wanting to find food. Next is hyperactivity. This suggests that being deceiving about the physical condition or the poor malnutrition that individuals were suffering would make them more confident about moving to a new area which may have better resources. Evaluation of the biological explanations of anorexia. Number one, serotonin. If serotonin has an effect on anorexia, then SRI drugs, which alter serotonin, should have an effect. However, it is found that they do not. However, another point to consider is that they do prevent relapse in the recovery of anorexia. It is suggested that they may be ineffective in the earlier stages of anorexia due to the malnutrition. Number two, homovanillic acid. This is a waste product of dopamine and it has an effect on people's weight. It is suggested that normalisation of homovanillic acid improves the weight of anorexics. It is also found that lower levels of dopamine was found in obese people. Number three, parental complications. These were significantly linked to anorexia and the most common ones were placental infraction and low birth weight. Number four, season of birth. Anorexics were more likely to be later in the birth order. The more older siblings a child has, the more the mother is exposed to common infections. Brain development is most critical in the second trimester of pregnancy and if anorexics were born in the spring months then they were most then they were most exposed to viruses during the second trimester therefore affecting their brain development. Number five, reproductive suppression hypothesis. This was supported by the fact that in anorexic girls puberty is, is delayed. Number six, treatment implications. There is often a struggle for control between the biological basis of the anorexic who wants them to stop eating, and the family who wants them to be better. There can be treatment which can help the family to be more compassionate towards the child, which will therefore help the acceptance and the recovery of the patient. Number seven, evolutionary explanations limitations. It is not explained why anorexia is passed on through natural selection. This is a problem because it decreases fertility and it can even be fatal and therefore without an explanation we would assume that it would not be passed on through sexual selection. 
therefore this explanation is limited. Number eight, a real world application. The US never used to consider anorexia as a biological condition and therefore it's not covered in insurance companies. However, from the evidence produced by this explanation, the insurance companies now pay out for anorexics. Number nine, a gender bias. This explanation focuses on females only. However, 20% of people with eating disorders are males. It is not clear on whether they now suffer more than they used to or if they now talk about it more. So that's the biological explanations of anorexia. Please feel free to subscribe and comment and I'll be uploading more soon.